we're getting ready to move into that uh, next, if you're ready to move yeah, into that. Yeah, well, uh, again, Klobuchar, who, you know, was never more than five. I think at some point she got 6% in some of the polls. Um, now, in this week, since Iowa, she's now surpassed Warren and Biden into third place behind Sanders and Buttigieg. Now, Sanders has always pretty much owned New Hampshire amongst the Democrats. Right. You always want to be behind Buttigieg, don't you? <laughs> And, uh, I mean, as opposed to, uh, uh, okay, I don't want to be anywhere so, around, no. anyway, uh, so yeah, Buttigieg and Klobuchar, to lesser you, those two have the big mo the big momentum, you know, yeah. and stuff, and Klobuchar, to her credit, she was the only one at the last debate, they asked, do any of you have a problem with the socialists atop the ticket? Not a one of them raised their hand except Amy Klobuchar. Okay. You know? So good, she has half a She's brain. taking up Tulsi Gabbard's spot. Yes, I think that's what it is. <laughs> From what I heard, yeah. her hand shot yeah. up like a bean sprout. Yeah, now my projection uh, in this is gonna be this. It'll be Sanders, Buttigieg, Klobuchar. And now Biden will not drop out until he runs out of money because nobody Correct. ever drops out until- Correct. For any other reason than they're out of money. Right. Uh, so that's what's gonna happen and it's gonna be followed uh, by New Hampshire. I know, Nevada. So they're going to run out to Las Vegas, and very few of them will ever leave the Las Vegas metro because that's like ninety percent of the population. Right. And then, uh, and then a little while They'll later, they'll take a side trip to Reno, yeah. and that's about it. Lake and Collins, then it, about it. at the end of the month, or almost in a month, we'll have the South Carolina. Uh, I do need to tell you a few things about our uh, the math. In many of these states, instead of 15% threshold now, you may need 20% in order to get any delegates. And, but in fact, uh, Michael Biondo, who ran Rick Santorum's right. campaign, I texted him tonight, I still haven't heard back from him, whether New Hampshire has that 50% um, majority thing where you get all of them if you got a majority. Right, so uh, okay. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, if, if you got 52 and somebody else got 30 and that, and they think, well, 30, I'm gonna get plenty. No, and if somebody yeah, right. gets 52, they get all they of get them. Everything. And that's gonna be the deal coming up Super Tuesday, which is, of course, Oklahoma, first Tuesday in March, is also gonna be the California primary this year. Oh, right. And right. California, which is not going to be winner take all like they always have been, because they were always first in June, right? right? First part of June. Uh, remember, Robert Kennedy won that, took all of them did, it, what, the night he was shot. Correct. You know, and. Uh, you were there too? <laughs> it, I remember watching on TV, believe you're it or like not. Mayhem. I do remember watching. You're like mayhem it, 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 yeah. everywhere. So, anyway, um, so this will be an interesting thing. Also, tonight, as we speak, Trump is doing a rally right now yeah. in New Hampshire, and he does have an opponent, William Weld. Is yes, he does. Giving his shot. No. But here's the thing. As long as Trump gets 50%, he should get all of the delegates. It doesn't matter what well gets. In fact, right. uh, South Carolina canceled their Republican. No, it's Nevada. Instead of doing caucuses like they normally do in Nevada, they're holding their state committee meeting and doing a straw poll of that. And they're going to get the delegates based on the straw poll of the state central committee. So no, I heard that <laughs> Mayor okay. Pete. Yeah. I heard Mayor Pete uh, gathered a thousand for a rally, but there was a competing rally with a cardboard cutout of Trump that drew eight hundred. Yes. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> a cardboard cutout uh, drew eight hundred of Trump. Well, oh, yeah. Supporters. The the Iowa caucuses. Pete, Pete was able to stand there live yeah. and get a thousand. <laughs> the Iowa caucuses. Republicans were just shocked. All these people showed up. They yeah. said, "You bet, we're showing up for Trump." Yeah, I mean, right. the Republican Party there was sh totally caught by surprise. Right. They weren't expecting that many. Right. I expected right. Mayor Pete to kind of hide for six weeks after that botched eyebrow job. <laughs> wow, did you see that <laughs> bleeding on face? The face? Yeah. Yeah. No, I did not see oh, that. Well, he, he's not as cute as he was when he's on the Adams Family. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When Buttigieg was a child actor in the Adams uh, Family, you didn't know. I did not know that. No, I did not know that. I'm making that up. Oh, okay. Well, that would be why. <laughs> Some people that would believe I, it. That you and look I at haven't pictures. seen that, and I haven't seen 
the Adams family. So. <laughs> da, 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 da. Hey, uh, don't forget uh, to update everybody. Next week, I got a great opportunity on Wednesday night, February 19th. Yeah. I get to interview uh, Rex Lawhorn uh, uh, right here on uh, 3D Politics Live on a Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Uh, with Rex, the gubernatorial candidate from 2018. We're going to talk all the sticky issues of libertarianism, and it'll be exciting to bring him on and have him explain that to us. So yeah. don't forget, Wednesday 19th, February, next week, uh, right here, 7 p.m. We're right here um, at the 3D Studios. Very excited.